Did you know that you can play most of the popular Android and iOS mobile games on your Windows PC or Mac computers? Well, you can using what's called an Android emulator. There are a handful of good Android emulators out there, but I personally prefer one that is called BlueStacks. I'll quickly show you how to download, install, and configure the BlueStacks emulator, and then I'll show you how to download, install, and run the game from this video's title that you came here to see. And then after all of that, I'll show you some gameplay footage as well so that you can see how good the game runs using BlueStacks. So you'll want to open up a web browser and go to bluestacks.com. Once there, click on the green Download BlueStacks 3N button. And once this page loads, just click the green Download button here. And now I've already downloaded this to my computer, so you can see the file's already there. And it's a pretty big file, about 415 MB. But I'm just going to click Cancel since I've already got it. Downsize this. And you can see the file on my computer here. It's the EXE standard installation file on Windows. Just double click it and go through the process and then we'll see it here in a minute. So in order to shorten this video, I skipped the installation process since that's just kind of standard. You'll see now you have a BlueStacks desktop icon. So you open that up and it'll take just a minute, especially the first time loading. So we'll skip this and come back in just a minute. So once it has booted, you can see that it's on the Pika World tab, and just want to switch it to My Apps. And you can see that Summoner's War has been installed by default. From time to time, BlueStacks will install a random app on there. That's just this way of being able to keep the software as freeware. You can just ignore it for now. So we'll go over to Settings real quick. You can see under Display and Aspect Ratio, I have it on System Default. I have a 1080p monitor, so I could switch it to that and be a little bit higher quality. I'll leave it on System Default. For DPI, switch it to Low if your game's running choppy, high if not. For Engine, you can do OpenGL or DirectX. I usually do OpenGL, it's the most compatible. You'll want to check Advanced Graphics Mode Beta. For CPU cores, I have eight. I like to set it to four. If you set it too high, sometimes it can lag your computer. So four is pretty good. And I usually like to set it to around three gigs of RAM. So around 3000 MB should be good. Once that's done, just hit restart now and wait for a minute and it'll restart and we'll see you in just a sec. All right, so once it's restarted, I went ahead and maximized the screen. We'll go over to System Apps, then Google Play, just like on any old Android device. And we'll do a quick search for Marvel future fight and then we'll hit the green install button and I'm just gonna warn you real quick that I'm gonna skip ahead in this video because my download gets stuck for a little bit it usually doesn't do this I'm not sure what was going on but it gets stuck so we'll skip on ahead and come back when it's ready okay so as you can see now it is ready it has finished downloading and it is now installing I could hit that green open button but I'm gonna close this tab and show you it's on the home screen and we'll open it from there and as it's opening, I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm not going to show you the initializing setup process of this. That would be too boring. So we'll go ahead and skip ahead to some gameplay. All right, so now we are in game. So I'll show you a mission so you can see how well this game actually does run on the BlueStacks emulator. Now I'll chime back in at the end of the video to wrap things up. So enjoy watching.
So there you go. As you can see, Marvel Future Fight runs terrific on the Bluestacks emulator. I never actually played this game much before, but I'm thinking about getting into it now using the Bluestacks emulator myself. And that'll be it for this video. Good luck if you're going to try to set it up on your own computer. I'm using a Windows 10 computer and it was pretty easy to do. But if you have any kind of issues, you want to ask questions, just leave a comment and we'll try to get back with you. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.